Now, uh, uh, going further with balancing a redox reaction, we are going to do uh, balancing of redox reaction in basic medium. To learn about uh, balancing in acidic medium, please refer to the previous video. So, balancing redox reactions in basic medium. The steps involved, the first uh, seven steps are the same as we will use in uh, balancing in acidic medium like separated them into half reaction and balance the elements other than oxygen, hydrogen, then balance the oxygen, then balance the hydrogen ions by adding H and balance the charge by adding electrons and then uh, make the electrons same on both the half reactions and cancel the electron by adding the two equations. So this we did even for balancing in acidic medium. But in this case, we have two extra steps. The step 8 is uh, when after you balance it, if in the final equation we have any hydrogen ions, convert them uh, into water by adding the appropriate number of OH minus. So once the H positive and OH minus combines to give you water, look at the equation and uh, cancel out any extra water and, um, in the equation and make any changes as required. So we will continue and we we'll apply the balancing of redox reactions in basic mediums to an equation. The equation given is cyanide reacting with MnO4 minus. This is in basic solution. So the first step is separate them into half reactions. We have the cyanide becoming CnO minus and uh, if you look at the oxidation number, nitrogen uh, changes from minus 3 to negative 1 and therefore this is oxidation. And for your reference, I have given you the number line. And in the second half reaction, MnO4 minus changes to MnO2, where the oxidation number of manganese changes from positive 7 to positive 4, and this is reduction. So the step 2 is to balance the reaction for atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So in this case, C and N are already balanced, so we don't add anything. Even with the manganese, nothing has to be added because the manganese is already balanced. The step 3 is, I will balance the oxygen by adding water and so I added one molecule of water in the first half reaction and added two molecules of water in the second half reaction. Now the step 4, I balance the hydrogen by adding H positive and this results in addition of 2 H positive in the first half reaction and 4 H positive in the second half reaction. So step 2, 3, 4 has balanced the elements, oxygen and hydrogen. Let's proceed further. So the step 5 is balance for the charges by adding electrons. So this way I add 2 electrons to the first half reaction and 3 electrons to the second half reaction. This balances the positive charge. So now I need to make the two electrons, uh, the electrons same in both the equation. So I need to multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 2. This results in a total of 6 electrons on both of them as written there. So now well, once I have made the electrons same, I need to go to the step 7 and add the two equations. So I had already made the electrons same and balanced the half reactions. So write that down again and then add the two equations. The 6 electrons on both the half reactions will get cancelled. And I get that results in the final equation as given there. 3 cyanide giving, reacting with 2 MnO4 minus plus 2 H positive giving you the final product. Just do a check on that. You will see that the charges are balanced and all the elements also balanced. But this is a special case where I am doing it in a basic medium. If it was acidic medium, I would have stopped with this step 7. Since it is basic medium, I do have two more steps. So, in the step 8, what we do is, I add, uh, the hydrogen ions have to be removed by adding OH-. minus. So, I have two hydrogen ions in the reactant site. Therefore, I will add two OH ions to the first equation and that uh, results in uh, two molecules of water. And you see that I have one molecule of water on the product side. Therefore, uh, the step 9, take away one molecule of water from the reactant side 
and then the final equation that results is shown there and again do a final check to see that the atoms, oxygens, hydrogens and the charges are balanced.